it doesn't take rocket science to understand that there's a major business in this state for sure, but across the country there's so much business involved in commodity milk, processing it, taking out all the good stuff and marketing that separately and then putting something back into the liquid that makes it look like milk again. What happened that day was that Minnesota Department of Health has a goal to eliminate raw milk access in the state of Minnesota. And because we appeared to be a, a growing movement in that area, it was certainly it was, was a target. I am an egg farmer bringing raw milk to the city. They trespassed on our private space and found evidence that looked like we were retailing food because we were organized, we had some product there, and what it was was a drop site. They didn't have a warrant. They didn't feel like they needed one. So they found enough information at the private space at the Trad Foods Warehouse to get a warrant like eight days later. At that time, they found some inventory of beef and chicken, and they embargoed everything that was on the farm. The warrant said they could take information from our computer files. So they suggested that because we used a QuickBooks system or a spreadsheet that we were a business. That's like saying that a, a, anybody that picks up a baseball pat, a bat is a professional because we all use the same equipment. Well, this event of action that uh, occurred on the 9th of March ended up with a, an actual tow job of our delivery truck, my delivery truck, with the contents belonging to uh, of, of 50 families in our private food club that many have had already paid for this food. It seemed like their intent was to do anything they could to interfere with our potential to continue to operate. We've got four counts of criminal misdemeanor food handling in Ramsey County. We've got six counts of the same thing in Stearns County. Then we've got 11 counts of administrative, I don't know what the hell all it's, that's even called, but there's piling on here like, when I break my back. Freedom Farms Co-op is a private food club that collectively allows now 120, 130 families to get to be familiar with the source of your food to uh, feel responsible, committed to supporting that quality of food. Our whole system is based on making this relatively convenient for families to not have to travel halfway across the city or, or certainly not halfway across the state to get to the farm that has the milk quality that they want. You can't find this stuff in a supermarket by any means, but if you go to a food co-op and try to find the same quality, you can't afford to take it home. I've been too far into this food system to know that you cannot do high quality food on a wholesale scale. You have to do a small amount of it and you have to connect to the consumer directly to make that work. But you, you can't do one piece without the other. If you look at every aspect of being a mom nowadays, when you find out that your quality of food is in the toilet and that just by chance you find a connection to a farm delivery system that gives you a chance to really dynamically change that. And you get to know this farmer and your kids know him and all at once you find out that the regulators in the, in the state are wanting to put him in jail. I, it's almost tragic what it did to our spirit at that time. You don't know if, if you're safe yourself as a mom because the uh, Minnesota statute says that in order to buy raw milk in Minnesota, you have to drive out to the farm to get it. So obviously, if you're going to do something different than that, you have to have a basis for it. So we set up a private food club. We have a lease on the animals that supply the dairy product for our members. We don't buy any dairy product. We own the animals that, you know, you don't buy milk from a cow that you own. We're not trying to do anything illegal here and get away with it. We're trying to manage a perfectly healthy food into a system that actually allows it, that food to be available to people in a reasonable way, not by having to drive across the state to get it.